This morning, when I woke up, I always have a look on Twitter, and when I did, the trending words in the UK, not just on my feed, in the UK, were Sodom and Gomorrah. And I thought to myself, yep, I know what that's about. I mean, what on earth was the man who made that thinking? This guy called Tom Jolly for an international family event that is supposed to bring the world together. Well, here's some thoughts, Mr. Jolly. 85% of the global population really adhere to their religious faith. So that means they probably didn't really like your strange interpretation of the Last Supper or seeing men gallivanting around with wardrobe malfunctions. And also, this is a family affair. What about that scene when those three people go for a menage a trois in a bedroom? I mean, what on earth are the parents of kids in Saudi Arabia supposed to be saying to them about what's going on in that particular scene? What about the people of France? You know, this is supposed to be about inclusion. That's what you said. But this isn't inclusive at all. This was a tiny minority of people in a small sither of countries in the Western Hemisphere in the northern part of the globe trying to impose their ideology and worldview on everybody else. I don't think a family in Bhutan, an athlete in Ghana, I just don't think any of them wanted to see that rubbish. And frankly, I don't even think many people in France wanted to see that rubbish. This is supposed to be about celebrating sport and the international community, not trying to tell the world that they've got to sign up to whatever near religious concepts that you egotistically think they ought to. Art is about giving people joy and happiness, not projecting your own narcissistic concept of your inner self on everybody and expecting us to accept it. It was ridiculous. And Putin, there on the naughty step, not allowed to go to the Olympic Games because he's a cheat and he's a monster good i agree with that well i bet you he's having a field day he'll be going to all of his mates who he's still selling oil to and saying see i told you the west is bad it's not a good place you don't want to be doing business with them because guess what crawl out from under your rock most of the world are not on board with your agenda they're just not whether you want them to be whether you think that's right or wrong they're really not believe me i've lived in ghana i've lived in cameroon i've lived in kenya i've lived in india i've lived in china and i can tell you right now that they would have been watching that opening ceremony in horror and considering this is supposed to be some sort of platform to advertise your nation the millions billions probably of french taxpayers money spent on that event macron you are an international laughing stock well done